been in attendance here at ringside and at this time a very warm welcome to you the viewers joining us at home on sky sports hd this is fight night international live from the hillsborough leisure center in the steel city of sheffield Ladies and gentlemen, the main event is just about to make its way to the ring. Would you welcome now the challenger from Spain, Ivan Pozo. Ivan Pozo from northern Spain was supposed to fight Jamie McDonald for this title 14 months ago. Now comes his second chance, albeit at just two weeks notice. He's operated at a high level as a flyweight. But moving up to bantamweight does look a tough task, especially for a man who's not exactly in a rich vein of form. But opportunity knocks. Can he grab this unexpected chance to put him right back in the championship mix? Jamie McDonald with his entourage, twin brother Gavin just behind him there. He boxed last night, had a draw, just down the road. Dave Holly, Steffi Bull, his two trainers. In the entourage somewhere. They're ready to roll. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the champion from Doncaster, Jamie McDonald. Son of South Yorkshire, he comes to the ring making the fourth defense of his European bantamweight crown. Having bopped up all comers at home and on the continent, Jamie McDonald is ready to step it up and become Doncaster's first ever world champion. Victory tonight will take him one step closer to that goal, but any slip ups could see a return to square one. Tonight, when Jamie McDonald needs to take care of business. Yep, he's a very good fighter. He's really improving in his career. Look at the tail of the tape, Pozo, 32 years old and a lot shorter as you can see. How much will that height and reach advantage be significant tonight for Jamie McDonald? McDonald turned pro in 2005, Pozo five years earlier. Pozo with the more experience, the more work. But it looks like you look at his record, Pozo, most of his good work came four or five years ago. Jamie McDonald is right on top of his game. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome here to the Hillsborough Leisure Centre, Sheffield, where Frank Maloney Promotions, in association with Dennis Hobson, are very proud to bring you the feature bout of the evening. 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the Bantamweight Championship of Europe. It's in association with our sponsors, CYC, Southwark Metals and York Fitness. Our officials at ringside, supervisor for the European Boxing Union from Helsinki, Finland, Mr. Perti Augustine, British Boxing Board of Control Steward in Charge is Mr. Jeff Bolter. Our three scoring judges at ringside are from Italy, Mr. Franco Kimanali. From Poland, Mr. Leszek Jankowiak. And from Finland, Mr. Essa Letosari. Timekeeper at the bell from Burnley is Mr. Gary Grennan. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action from Rome, Italy. Please welcome Mr. Adrio Zanoni. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance here at ringside, the officials are ready. The boxers are ready. Are you ready for the main event? This is in between and introducing firstly the challenger. He boxes out of the red corner, wears black shorts with red trim. He weighed in at eight stone, five pounds, eight ounces. He brings to the ring a 39 fight record. 32 wins, 20 wins inside the scheduled distance. Six defeats and one draw. He is a former two times European flyweight champion 
from Pontevedra, Spain, please welcome Ivan Pozo. And across the ring stands the champion. He's boxing out of the blue corner. He wears white shorts with blue trim. At the weigh-in, he scaled eight stone six pounds. From 21 contests, he has 18 wins. Seven wins inside the distance. Only two defeats and one draw. He is the current British, Commonwealth and European bantamweight champion. Tonight, making the fourth defense of his European crown. From Doncaster, England, Jamie McDonald. <laughs> Referee in charge, Mr. Adrio Zanoni, will bring both boxers together at the centre of the ring for final instructions. Well, I'm sure they know what they're doing. A little crash course in Italian for Jamie McDonald. And we are just about ready. McDonald looking really confident. Pozo stepping in. And it looks a very, very tall order for him. But he's got a little bit of an advantage in the sense that McDonald has been training for another opponent, Malik Bouzian, who's very much a defensive counter-puncher. That's why he's done so much of his sparring with Rendell Monroe. But they had a lot of variety in their sparring as well. He's had a few come-forward fighters working with him. Paul Economides, for example, springs to mind. And he just said he's ready for any eventuality. Speaking to him yesterday at the way and he just said, no, not bothered about the, uh, the fact that we've got a new guy coming in. And tactically, we know exactly what we're going to do. Pozo obviously looks a lot smaller. He's quite, he's quite strong across the shoulders, Pozo, but just a half a pound in it. But you get the feeling after the weigh-in that uh, Jamie McDonald's probably put eight or nine pounds on. And you wonder how much Pozo's been able to pack onto that frame. Well, straight away, we get a look at what sort of fighters they are. And he's doing the right thing right from the start. McDonald, by getting the centre of the ring, by leading with that jab, by trying to be busy and trying to land some hurtful punches. Pozo, you can see, is just waiting, and he's going to look for a, a looping hook inside, and that's just what McDonald's got to be wary of. But it's very, very important for Jamie McDonald to make a statement and perform well here. An early body shot getting through. This is just uh, finding his range at the moment, McDonald. The challenger keeping a high guard, keeping watchful. A lot of people thought that... Pozo would just come out all guns blazing, give it a real tear up for two or three rounds and see if he could just shake McDonnell out of his groove. He's, he's not done that, he's, he's boxing very carefully at the moment, really sizing his man up. Again, switching downstairs and a little attack upstairs, the left hook getting through from Pozo. Pozo started quite warily, hasn't he? But, you know, he's gone, he's in with a, a big man. You know, it must be a struggle for McDonald to make this weight, and you wonder how long he can keep doing it for. But he does, and he's strong at the weight, and he's working well at range. He really takes care of his diet these days, Jamie McDonald, which will come as a surprise to those, those that knew him in younger days when he, he admitted his, his diet was whatever he could grab on the way home, and it would very often be beans on toast. Not anymore. He really sticks to a very rigid diet. Well, he's done very well, he's much improved, he's really coming together for him, British Commonwealth, European. One more step to go, and that's the big one, the world, and he's desperate to get a world title shot and bring a world title back to Doncaster. And there's never been one, of course, Bruce Woodcock, the European champion. McDonald would love to be the first from Doncaster to claim that honour. And he's starting to find his range, those spearing long left jabs are starting to get through. Well, already, a... you can tell that Pozo is wondering, what am I going to do to get inside these long, fast punches?
feeling like you're warming into it. Don't start going down and doing that stuff. Keep pinging that jab, ping that right hand, then others will follow. Just break See? him up a little bit more, yeah? yeah? Just keep using that speed, Jay. You've got that speed over him. Don't stop losing jab. Keep pinging him with Smash that right hand in, and if it opens up, bang, oops it. But just keep it strict for now, yeah? Dave Hulley is the man who runs the corner when Jamie McDonald fights, one of the twin trainers. Just to the right there is Steffi Bull, the other trainer. They'll be pretty happy with what they saw in that first round. Pozo seeming not to offer too much of an offensive threat. He was very cagey. And that allowed McDonald just to start to find his range, getting through with some of those jabs. A little body shot here and there. A solid start. And a busy start to the second round for Pozo, who lands a combination to the body. Will he keep it going? But Pozo went back to the corner at the end of the first, looking pretty sorry for himself. And he's come out just to try and change that a little bit, but instantly caught with a, a good right hand from McDonald, and that just puts him back in his place. Yeah, and that right hand you mentioned there, Glenn. That seems to force just a, a slight wobble. He's only there for a split second, but McDonald will have seen that. Pozo's had a very good career, long career, European challenge for the world at flyweight. Now up at Bantamweight. I think you know he's had his last two fights at Bantam, he's won them. But I think there's a bit of a realization about what it's like going in with a European champion at this weight. And he's learning the hard way. Well, you've got to go back to 2005 for his best result. And he beat Andreas Soritsu for the European flyweight title. That was a really good result. Defended it a couple of times, then lost in the rematch in Italy. Tends to lose when he travels. And really had that crack at Omar Narvaez for the world flyweight title back in May 2008. Packed it in after seven rounds. He was outclassed, and that was certainly no disgrace. Narvaez is fighting for a world title again later this month. And since then, five fights, lost one, which is a bit of a shocker. And always against either shop-worn or limited opposition. So you, you just get the feeling that Pozo's best days are firmly behind him. Yes, and he's coming here as a replacement. And quite frankly, he looks that at this moment. It's a good start for McDonald, though. He looks focused, Nick. He does, and he's patient as well. That's, that, that's something that an earlier career Jamie McDonald might not have been good combination again he hurt him with that right hand followed it up straight away as well and Pozo's rattled and he's hurt and he's, he's complaining about something now whether he's complaining about a low blow I'm not sure he's going to make this he doesn't want to know well it was a left hook to the body and it just seemed to take everything out of him yeah, it was good. He pushed him back with a headshot and then whipped in a left hook under the elbow. That was good performance. You'd expect him to do this at this level against this sort of opponent. But um, that was good. He did everything that was expected of him. And, you know, hopefully this is going to be his year. 2012 is the year that Jamie McDonald should challenge for a world title. You know, the chance of easy, easy go up. Yeah, the left hook really was a wicked one. But the way Pozo went down, I thought he was trying to con the referee that maybe it was a low blow. It certainly wasn't. And no. One, and once he went down, he wouldn't get back up. You, you could see in his face he was out of breath. You could see that took the, the wind out of him. And it hurt him. But right from, right from the first round when he was getting caught, he walked back to the corner. He just looked as if it was a bit hard. And what was he really doing in there? Big jump, you know, from just moving up to two fights at Bantamweight and then in for a, a European title. And I think it showed. And that's the sort of performance that you'd expect from Jamie McDonald if he's going to move on and fight these big names. Just pushes him back. The right hand there, that one hits the, the elbow. He's still looking to bring the hands down. There's a good left hook went in there, and that's the one. A little bit of a delayed reaction, but you knew the first one hit the elbow, went back to the head, then when the elbows come up, he slipped that left hook in. And Pozo never looked like he was ever going to even attempt to beat the count. No, just not big enough. And we thought body shots would be the difference maker it, here. It really was. 
Yep, the first one. That just caught the elbow. Now he looks, the elbow is just starting to come up. He's waiting for it. There it is. And a beautifully timed shot right round. Little delayed reaction. He goes to get a breath. He can't. Can't inhale. And that's where the pain sets in. And he's not going to get up from that. Well, can they find this guy a shot at a world title? He wants Jorge Arce. That's who he's got his sights set on. Shinsuke Yamada is the WBC champion. McDonnell is highly ranked with that organization. Maybe that is going to come. And on a performance like this, you have to say Jamie McDonnell is ready to have a go at conquering the world. Ladies and gentlemen, our timekeeper, Mr. Gary Grennan, scores an official time. Two minutes, 11 seconds into round number two, and referee Adrio Zanoni reaches the count of 10. The winner by KO, and still European bantamweight champion, Jamie McDonald.